Hey guys, so I'm in a supermarket in Argentina. I'm gonna show you guys. It's a small supermarket, but I'm gonna show you guys what are some of the things that you'll find here and what are some of the things that you won't find. Let's go. Alright, so that's the entrance and the first aisle, guess what you find? Aisle full of wine. Like from here, go all the way down there, so is wine. One section of an aisle is wine because these people drink wine like crazy. I'm not promoting the consumption of alcohol. I'm just showing you guys what it's like in this place. On the other side, you have Tang. Now for the price, let me explain again. Argentina has two rates. They have the blue rate and they have the official rate. The blue rate is at about one US dollar to about 610 pesos. And the unofficial rate is about half of that, which is about 300 pesos. Now, for Jamaican dollars, right now it's probably um, one Jamaican dollar to about 4.5 pesos. So every price that you see here, you can divide by 610 to get the price in US dollars or divide it by 4.5 to get the price in pesos and then you can, in Jamaican dollars, I'm sorry, and then you can tell me if you think it's expensive or not. I'll also in the tongue. So Tang, 85 pesos, which would be divided by 4.5. Large mats. Well, about 20 Jamaican dollars or something like that. And then this aisle is just full of juice and soda. Coca-Cola. Next thing that you find in abundance, they drink a lot of Coca-Cola. Pepsi is not such a big thing here, but Coca-Cola is. <clears throat> and other types of soda as well. All right, another thing that you'll find a lot here is water with gas or soda water because they drink that a lot. I guess because they drink coffee a lot too, so they use it after to kind of like neutralize the taste in their mouth, I'm not sure. They also drink a lot of beer. But look, the wine aisle comes all the way down here. Then every supermarket has a section where they sell cheese and sliced um, raw meat or pre-cooked meat, I'm sorry. <laughs> they call them fiambre. And most of these things are made from pork. Cheese, look at cheese, cheese. Hola, mostrando un poquito de la cultura de Argentina. They have, look, all types of cheese. Argentina is a cheese country. As I said before, Argentina has a very big Italian influence. So these are their sausages, pork, thing as pork. And this is what they call dulce de membrillo, which is like a, a jelly, a sweet jelly. And of course they have food where you can just get and go. And what that? We call it in Jamaica rochester chicken. I never tasted it, I don't think I would. There are some other stuff that you can just grab and go. Another thing that they have is, the supermarkets will have is like a little meat shop. Is these people be eating their beef. So, they have different cuts of the beef and they always have to have beef. They can go out of chicken, but they can never go out of beef. <laughs> See, all of that is beef, minced beef, and that's what they call Milanesa. If it's made from chicken, it's called Suprema. And if it's made from beef, sometimes they use pork to make it as well. It's called a Milanesa. This one is the beef one. Their sausages again. And another thing too, they eat every part of the cow. They eat the tongue, the tribe. Well, we eat the, the tribe or the goat in Jamaica, but they, for them it's the, it's the tongue. And the brain, sometimes you just see the brain out. Not Another section of the supermarket is you'll have like a little baker shop and they'll sell these things. These, they call it media lunas, the sweet one and the savory one. And the rest of these they call facturas. And then they have a called pasta flor, I think it's called. Sometimes some supermarkets will sell cakes and stuff like that. 
and these are the braids that they sell. They sell spice braids as well, but these are more common. And this is called a pre pizza, or it's just like the base to make the pizza. It'll come with like you know tomato paste, or this one has onions on it. Oh, and see the section for the cakes here. I don't really like cakes in Argentina, I must be honest. They're normally very dry <laughs> and not very flavorful. Another thing that you'll have is a mini verdurería. I've shown you guys this before. So you can get, it's like a one-stop shop. You can get your meat, your cheese, your bread, your pastry, your, your what's it called, your meat. So yeah. Everything here. Now, what do they sell in their food? Chips fries one thing Argentina in Argentina it's, it's good if you're a vegetarian because you'll find a lot of veggie options you know your fish and stuff like that nuggets for the kids and then here you have ice cream and then here you have some frozen fruits mm, and they look rest of it beef beef the burger patties you get the idea see more coca-cola <laughs> the other stand wasn't enough all right now let's go to their biscuits oreo is a brand that you guys will be familiar with and this is like i would say almost like one of the national biscuits they always buy them when it's a get together so you can snack on their crackers Let's continue. Just to give you an idea. And this is like a sweetener that they use, you know, for the diabetic. And this is their mate that I've told you guys about. So this is a small supermarket, but some supermarkets that you go to, you'll actually see an entire aisle having, just having different types of mate. Those are all mate. And of course, your tea. They also consume a lot of coffee, so you have a lot of coffee options as well. Hola. Let's look at their fridge. Yogurt, they consume a lot of yogurt. And also the liquid one. I don't recall seeing, I don't think I've seen liquid yogurt before coming to Argentina. And then some of them will have a little corn flakes thing at the top. You know, yogurt, yogurt for days. <laughs> All right, another thing that Argentina has a lot of is something that's called crema de leche or milk cream. And they use it to make their sauce, to eat their raviolis, their pasta, the works. So, told you they eat a lot of pasta. These are what, the raviolis, different fillings, and this thing here, gnocchis, they also eat it, that's made from potatoes. And then they also give you a lot of things that you can, options so that you can make things at home. This is to make like a tart, and this is to make their milanese, and the milanese are empanadas, which is like a mini patty. And here they have some more prep pizzas. Fridge too, they have more cheese options. More crema de leche, you see a lot of that too. Milk cream, and then here they have like um, cream cheese. Yeah, you have a lot of that too. And then more sausages, meat. Yeah, one thing that was hard for me, or still hard, is that I can't eat sausages in Argentina because most of them have pork so or almost all of them very few you'll see will say oh chicken sausage and you still have to check because they'll tell you chicken or beef and then it'll still be mixed with pork so if you don't eat pork you have to be careful in Argentina because everything has pork um something that they have that's called I think yeah alfajor and then here they have that is called a budin which is a little cake lots of sweet things now let's go to this aisle seasoning which I don't think most of them use and rice 
lots of olives as well, aceituna, because these people love aceituna. They use it a lot on their pizza too. And then you have mayo. This is a brand that I like. I recently started seeing it. They have cheddar cheese, mustard, chimichurri. It's also a very common um, seasoning that they use here. Ketchup. And all of their condiments, you realize that they all come in plastic. Except for these. But they all come in plastic. In a plastic bag. Or a sachet, whatever you call it. Man. So, before I get back to that section, I'm going to show you guys here. Another thing that you find a lot of, it's tomato paste. Because they use it for your pizza, to make their sauce for your raviolis as well. All of this. All these tomato paste, tomato paste, and then yeah, they have a lot of canned beans and all the works. And look, these this is a mackerel, and then you yeah, like your canned fruits, oil, cornmeal, flour because they use a lot of flour to make cakes and all the works. It's very common. It's very common for them to use olive oil on their food as well, their vegetables, vinegar as well, and salt. Uh, they play music, I mean, oh, let me stop. So I was explaining that they also use a lot of mayonnaise. So look, all the different brands of mayonnaise. You have vegan mayonnaise. Light mayonnaise, Liviana means light. You have the mayonnaise, oh, the casera, casera means like homemade. Ahumada means smoked, ajo, garlic mayonnaise, you know, all the works. Something that you find a lot of is pasta. That's it, the supermarket is small, so you don't have a lot of things, but other supermarkets you find they have a lot more. You have the angel pasta. You know, the spiral one, the the long ones, the spaghetti. Um, yeah, the elbow one is what some of them you have, but vegetables <laughs> made from vegetables and the whole works. And then you have the flour. Oh no, these are actually capellettinis. This is Italian, they come like this as well. You can just cook them. So, the whole works. Now let's go to the bread aisle, bread section. Let's only that they do have sliced bread. But most persons will buy the other type. And their snacks. The international snacks, the Lay's, the Cheetos, you know, the works. And then you have the Argentine snacks, which are pretty much these, more or less. They buy those when they have their get-togethers. People can pick on them snack on them and this is like it's like a bread biscuit at the same time but it's super hard look it's hard I, I, that was shocking for me too it's like why is this why does it look like bread but why is it hard <laughs> and they're cornflakes and another thing that you'll see a lot of is chocolate powder because they make a lot of chocolate milk at home and then some more beans Alright, another thing that you find in abundance, another thing that's typical of Argentina, dulce de leche. Just something like um, condensed milk, but it's brown. It's not the same thing, but it's similar. That's the best way to describe it. And they eat it a lot, put it on their pastry, they just eat it with, uh, with biscuit. They also eat a lot of jam for their merienda, which would be like their supper that comes before dinner. Jam and dulce de leche. And then... Another thing that they have to have a lot of is milk. They drink a lot of milk, I guess, for their coffee and for their chocolatada, as I've told you before. All right, let's go. Now, this is for the aisle. Lots of stuff for animals because, lots of stuff for animals because, you know, these people love their doggies. So, even if it's a small supermarket, they have to have stuff for the animals. And their liquid, washing liquid, broom. And these, you know, I, I, I've gotten so addicted to them. Like, you know, in Jamaica, we have like a washcloth. 
here like these here they use most of this and I like it because you use it you use one for a week and then you throw it out and you change it you know because it's better that way than to have one there all the time and then you have to be washing it and stuff and it gets dirty easily and then they have these cloths that they use with like something that it's straight and flat and you like you used to push water like a pusher and then they put this with it and clean the floor because mops are not very popular here yeah we proud of so the usual nothing too tough everything that you need to clean your glass to clean your bathroom clean your floors your garbage bags bleach dishwashing liquid and then here oh red to be honest I don't think it's very good I don't think roaches are very popular here I don't see a lot of them um, at least in the apartments that I've lived the last one had a few because it was coming from one apartment but generally no yeah be a bathroom these are some other condiments that they sell Provincial, it's very popular. Oregano as well. And this is like spices for pizza. I mean fish. Spices specifically for rice. Spices for melanesa. Spices chimichurri. But like a little mini pharmacy. <laughs> Here die. You know, the whole works. Which I think, these are things that are typically sold in supermarkets still, but just give you an idea. The deodorant, Dove, Colgate. Nothing too tough, nothing new. Nothing different. Sanitary for the woman. And then here you have like diaper. Um, what is up with him? Toilet paper. <laughs> Some more brooms. This is the pressure that I was telling you guys about. This is the most common one. So you buy that, you put it on a stick, and then you use a cloth and you wipe the floor. It's called secador de piso, or a dryer for floors, a floor dryer. <laughs> yeah, and the accessories. And then that's it. It's time to go to the cashier. Oh, but we're 